Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to address the question what it costs to run an AI chatbot. In this video, I'm talking about Ginny. It's an AI chatbot based on WhatsApp. And I have a video completely outlining how you can set this up, by the way, for yourself. And I'm going to leave this 36 minute tutorial in the bio below so you can watch that after you watch this video. All right, let's go into Notion and get started. So what you want, uh, what you need for a WhatsApp chatbot, of course, is a, fo is a phone number. Uh, you always need like a separate phone number for each, for each WhatsApp user. So yeah, you need to get a virtual phone number, cost $6 a month. Um, yeah, that is the cheapest expense of them all. So I'm going from cheapest to highest, actually. All right, second cheapest is actually the OpenAI API bill. It is literally ridiculously cheap. I think every quarter they like uh, slash the cost by half or something like that. So our OpenAI bill was $9 last month. Um, yeah, super ridiculously cheap. Um, we are still using the 3.5 Turbo model for this. So this one is extremely cheap, but it is for, for WhatsApp, like for a simple like on the go chatbot um, that you have just in your pocket, it's usually very, very fine enough. So we have no users complaining about um, about the language model. Yeah. All right. You need a server where you can host your app so that it always runs. Right. Um, that one still runs on Heroku that cost uh, $25 a month for one dyno. If you have like peak use usage, it could go up to $75 a month. Um, but uh, one dyno is usually very enough. However, to start for free, because Heroku, um, I think doesn't have a free trial anymore. I would actually recommend um, using Railway for complete free deployment. And they have like a $5 free trial that lasts for quite a long time to just like test your idea out. You need a database. Um, for that one, we're currently using MongoDB. However, I would definitely not recommend that. Um, it's uh, way too expensive for uh, what we uh, use it for. And I would highly recommend Superbase for this. Um, has like a very generous free trial and you can have multiple uh, tables for like users, storing users separately and messages separately. Um, yeah, and it's also has a generous free trial and then it's $25 a month for... I think 100,000 monthly active users or something like that. So yeah, very, very, uh, very, very generous and good database. Other than that, we have um, a Zapier subscription. Why do I have a Zapier subscription? That is actually quite expensive, $30 a month. Um, you actually don't need it. I have that for like all of my businesses, one Zapier subscription. So maybe $5 a month for that is like actually for Ginny. Why? because when users sign up, they have to enter their phone number here. And you know how customers are, they sometimes enter the phone number in a wrong format or actually quite often, um, they maybe put like a, a plus sign there, which should not be there or yeah, whatever. Basically you wanna have it in the format so that Stripe has the international format here and then your, uh, your phone number. So yeah, sometimes I have to format the phone number because otherwise the subscription does not get activated and then the user will like complain, oh, this is a scam, blah, blah, blah. Um, so that's why I just have a simple zap. Whenever user signs up, it quickly checks uh, with like Zapier and these filters, like is the phone number correct? Um, is it in the correct format? If no, please uh, reformat it and update it in Stripe. All right, next up we have the WhatsApp charges. These were $56 for the month before November, actually. And since November, WhatsApp is completely free. Uh, they made it $0 fee uh, for user-initiated conversations. What is that? That means basically the user messages you first, which is the case for basically all AI chatbots. Um, the user wants something from the AI, right? Uh, WhatsApp now focuses on charging businesses that reach out to users, which is not your case. So yeah, that's actually pretty amazing. Before that, sometimes our bill was a couple hundred dollars per month, actually, even in peak times up to like a thousand dollars a month. And now it's free. 
completely free. Um, so it's like best time to create a WhatsApp chatbot. And what does actually influence the cost? Of course, the language model that you use, um, 3.5 Turbo, you don't have to worry. It's like, it's so cheap. Um, that's that's gonna be almost free for you. Um, if you wanna uh, do images and stuff like that, you may need to use uh, GPT-4.0, right? And that isn't, of course, a little bit more expensive, but from, from our experience, from seeing like hundreds of thousands of users interacting with this, um, nobody really shoots above the limit like nobody excessively uses it like i don't know hundreds of messages per day i mean if i look at my own chat gpt usage it's yeah it's sometimes there's days where i don't even write at all right um maybe maybe there's sometimes a day uh, where i write like 10 messages um but that's that's really it so you uh you will be very very good off by just giving them unlimited messages basically and you don't really have to worry about the cost of the language model yeah um, then of course the context that you send through is important like how many past messages you include in the context in order to give a response based on the past messages right so to, to explain this right you have like chat 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 and then here's the new message so of course you send the, the new request to OpenAI, but you may also want to include the past messages. So it actually knows the context of the past messages. You know what I mean? I guess, I guess so, yeah. And you can, um, for example, in the code template that you can, can check out on my website, there's literally like a function where you can just change the number. Um, I have it like standardized on like 10, uh, but you can change it to two messages or four messages, right? Um, and of course, then how big your free trial is. So Ginny has a 10 message free trial uh, and then you see the paywall. So yeah, here I pulled it up quickly. So basically here I tested the paywall and then as you can see, a Stripe link pops up. Which then leads to the uh, subscribe page. All right, cool. I hope this was insightful for you. Um, if you want to learn more about how I built this, check out my um, tutorial here in the link below and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.